I'm here with Christy Griffin, and this is the Vegan Festival this year. She is the president. Christy, what? It's so special. There's so much vibrancy here. I really appreciate coming. Oh, Could that's you please great. tell me how it's been for you today? It has been a really exciting event. I, I am super thrilled with the large variety of vendors we have today. We have so many food vendors. We have more food vendors than we've ever had before. We have such a great variety of nonprofits, uh, clothing companies. I was even in a fashion show, which is not something I usually do, <laughs> uh, especially not when I'm suffering from a sinus infection. Uh, but yeah, it's been a great day. It's been so wonderful seeing uh, old friends and making new friends, and that's what it's all about. Well, yes, and I've been a, a member, let's see, it's like 40 years since it first started. Nice. But I've been into raw vegan 65 years. Oh, that's Ye amazing. Yes, and today it's raining, and there's been <laughs> such a crowd coming out. and. Uh, you even had a cookie contest today, and then you had a costume contest. What was that like? We wanted to find a way that we could um, kind of have a little more fun with the festival, and so it's not like so staunchy and stiff upper lip. You know, we, we need to show people that veganism is fun. That's the way to make new vegans, is to make it fun, make it fun, make it accessible, make it relatable. So by doing things like the cookie contest and the costume contest, we invite folks to come in and have fun, be part of the community. It's not just all seriousness. It's fun and living and learning and everybody having a good time together. Well, that is true. You even had this band out there, which made everybody feel just like they wanted to move. And yeah, had so much vegan energy. DJ, our yes. vegan DJ, DJ he, he goes by the, the DJ handle G-Turns, and he has a plant-based party called Plants Groove. <laughs> a party? It was yeah, like a yeah, party. He's, he's based in Sunnyvale, so his events so far have been in the South Bay, but we're going to be collaborating with him in the near future on some parties here in San Francisco. Wow, well, this has been like a party event today, such celebration, and the highest quality of food here. The food has been good, yes. right? Yes, and you've had one cooking demo after another. I congra congratulate you for finding Thank these you. wonderful restaurants and, and cooks. Oh, they've just been amazing. And really, let's admit it, like, that's a way to kind of get anybody to go vegan. Give them good food. The way to the heart is through the stomach. You gotta give people good food, get them excited about good food. So that's why we love doing the cooking demonstrations. We love having this big variety of vegan food and, and all of our samples. We got a ton of samples in from great vegan companies this year. It's been so wonderful. It's been really exciting. So generous. They've been giving out these samples. Yeah, like I never the full size big o bars. Those things are huge and they're so good. I've never seen anything like this in the history of when it was called the Vegetarian Society. Oh, thank you so much yes. for saying that. This has been a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears, but it's something I really enjoy doing. Well, how can people find out about what's coming up in the future here? Oh, we would love people to join the society. So the best thing, the best way you can find out about our upcoming events is get on our mailing list. So if you go to uh, sfvs.org, you just uh, click on the uh, uh, join the email list button and just put your email in. That signs you up for our email list right away. And that's how we let all of our members and supporters know about our upcoming events. And we tend to have uh, one or more events a month, which is a record that we haven't had since Dixie was in charge. So I feel super excited. We have yes. not had that many events happening since Dixie was in charge. Oh, well, you've been, you've been working around the clock. Miss Energetic. I have, Miss I have Energetic. But I always find myself, uh, when, I, when I'm between a rock and a hard place, I always think, what would Dixie do? And that's how I solve problems. <laughs> and Dixie was a ballet dancer who had a lot of energy. Oh, she did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Yeah. I've been coming to this event 
uh, as, a, as a vendor uh, with all the various nonprofits that I've worked with over the last 20 years. So I've been to almost every single one of these events. And I know Dixie, when uh, she used to do the events, she would end each event with a little tap dance on the stage at the end. So I think she'd be so happy to see the stage being brought back in. And, uh, and you know, if I could t tap dance, I would. <laughs> oh, oh, well, maybe you'll learn. Uh, because uh, you could learn from that uh, one judge there. She did some kicks for me. Oh, and yeah. And Miss Entertaining. They she was a what? She was a wonderful, exuberant oh, yeah. judge. Yes, yeah, she is amazing. Uh, she is not only one of the best drag queens around, she's a vegan drag queen, so that makes her even better, right? <laughs> yes. And I love that she is so uh, open about being vegan and encouraging other people to experience for veganism because that's just yet another way to reach out to communities that we're not necessarily reaching out to do during these kind of events so and I just love drag queens also oh. <laughs> it's my favorite form of art oh oh wow and this is at the Hall of Flowers I might say yeah and right next to the botanical gardens and this we had the background home. here of all of these green plants that are easy to plant in your yard and don't, don't require a lot of upkeep. Oh yeah, we were so lucky to have uh, plant vendors in this year. Yeah. And that's because of our collaboration with my friend LaToya over there, who is also our designer, our featured designer who did the fashion show earlier. Oh, oh I'm sorry I missed that, even a fashion show here. Yeah. Such variety to meet everybody's needs and expectations. And what kind of a booth did you normally have out here? Uh, when I was here before I was part of the board, I worked for In Defense of Animals. I used to work for PETA. I used to work for Farm Sanctuary. I've worked for everybody. <laughs> yep. Well, I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, it was Ms. <laughs> Ms. Workaholic yeah. around the clock and getting all this energy from Vegan. Uh, well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time and the website again. It's sfbs.org. Okay.